Hello friends this is one more video tutorial on search table data by using PHP with Ajax. But here we integrate Bootstrap Type Ahead plugin for search table data. By using Bootstrap Type Ahead plugin we can make auto complete text box, so when we have typed something in search in text box then it will display auto complete data in text box and below table also in table we can see search data in table. We have already made video tutorial on search table data by using Ajax with PHP but here we have used Bootstrap Type Ahead plugin and by using functionality of this plugin with PHP and Ajax we have make simple query for search any table column data. Now let's start discussing this topic. This is our testing database and in this we have one employee table with four table column like id, name, gender and designation. In this table we have already inserted some data from display functionality of this feature, we will fetch data from this table and display search result on web page. This is our index page and on this page we have include this links. First is for query, second is for type a hedge query plugin and last is bootstrap style sheet. So for use type a head plugin functionality on this page we have include the second link which load type hedge query plugin on this page. First we want to create text box for search employee detail. So we have write input type is equal to text with attribute name is equal to employee search. It is equal to employee search class is equal to form control and auto complete attribute is equal to off. Below this text box we have defined one division tag with attribute it is equal to employee data. Under this tag we will display employee data in table format by using jQuery Ajax request. Now we have moved to write jQuery code for fetch data from employee table and display on web page. So here we have create on function load data with two argument like query and type ahead search is equal to yes. In this function we have pass two argument in this function. In first argument we will pass data which we want to search from table and this type head search is equal to yes is used to identify Ajax request has been sent from type ahead method. Under this function we have start write Ajax request and under this we have write first option URL set to fetch.php. Here we have send request to this page. In second option we have write method option and under this we can define which method we will use for send data to server. So here we have write post method, that means here we have used post method for send data to server. In third option we have write data option and under this we can pass which data we want send to server. So here we have pass query and type head search variable value has been passed. Lastly we have write success callback function, this function has been called if request completed successfully and it will receive data from server. Here we will receive employee data in HTML format and display under division tag with attributed employee data. So here we have write dollar with division tag id employee data with HTML method and under this method we have write data. This code will display employee data under division tag with it employee data. Now we have moved to write PHP code at fetch.php. So on this page first we have write of statement and under condition we have write is set function with dollar post query variable. This condition will check is this variable value is checked then it will execute if block of code. Suppose dollar post query variable value is set then it will execute if block of code and under this first we want to make database connection. So here we have write dollar connect variable is equal to miscly connect function with four argument like host name set to locale lost, username set to root password set to blank and database name set to testing. After making database connection now we want to clear value of dollar post query variable. 
So we have write dollar request variable is equal to miscly real escape string function with two argument like database connection string dollar connect variable and dollar post query variable. This will escape special character from value of dollar post query variable and store into dollar request variable. Now we have write dollar query variable is equal to select start from employee table where name like dollar request variable or gender like dollar request variable or designation like dollar request variable. This query will search in all table column. After this we want to execute this query so, we have write dollar result variable is equal to miscly query function with two argument like dollar connect variable and dollar query variable. This code will execute query and store result in dollar $query variable. Now we have defined one variable $HTML is equal to blank value. In this variable we will store employee data in HTML table format. Then after we have write $HTML variable and in this variable we have append HTML code like one table with three table data like name, gender and designation. Now we want to fetch data from dollar result variable, so we have use while loop with dollar row variable is equal to miscly fetch array function with dollar result variable as argument. This function will convert query result to PHP array and store into dollar row variable. Under this loop we have write dollar HTML variable and in this we have append HTML code like open and close table row with three table data tag. In first we have print name data by dollar row name variable. In second table data tag we have print gender date by write dollar row gender variable and in third table data tag we have print designation data by writing dollar row designation variable. This way we have print employee data in table format and store into dollar HTML variable. Now we want to close table tag. So here we have write dollar HTML variable and in this we have append HTML code like close table tag. Now we want to send this employee data in table format sent to Ajax request. So here we have write echo statement with dollar HTML variable. This will display employee data on web page. Now we have go to index page and here we have call load data function with blank value as argument. So when page has been loaded into browser then this function has been called and it will display employee data on web page. After this we want to activate type head plugin on employee search text box. So here we have write dollar with text box hit employee search with type ahead method. This method will activate type ahead method on this text box. Under this method first we have write source double colon function with two argument like query and result. Here this is used for server side processing and this function first argument is query which is get from text box value and result argument returns searching data get from server side. Under this function we have defined simple Ajax request and under this Ajax request we have first write first option URL is equal to fetch.php. We have send request to this page. In second option we have write method option. Under this option we can define which method we should use for send data to server. So here we have use post method. In third option we have write data and under this option we can define which data we want send to server. So under this option we have write query data get from function query argument. In fourth option we have write data type option and under this option we have write JSON data type. So we will receive data from server in JSON format. In last option we have write success callback function. This function has been called if request successfully completed and this function received data from server. Under this function we want to map result which we have get from source data set. 
So we have right result argument under this we have right dollar dot map method and under this method we have right data which we have get from success callback function and in second argument we have right function with item argument. Here we have get data in array format. So we have to map them here and under this we have write return statement with item argument. So it will append this item one by one below text box and to make auto complete text box. Lastly we want to display updated search data under division tag with it employee data. Here we have call load data function with two argument. In first argument we have write query variable and in second argument we have write yes. Now this function will return only search data not whole table data. Now our query code is ready to integrate type ahead plugin on this index page so we have moved to write PHP code on fetch.php. On fetch.php page here we have defined one dollar data variable is equal blank array. In this variable we will store data which we will get from employee table. Then after here we have write dollar data variable is equal to dollar row name variable. Here we have store name table column data in this dollar data variable in array format. Same way here we have again write dollar data variable is equal to dollar row gender variable. Here we have store gender table column data in this dollar data variable in array format. And lastly here we have write dollar data variable is equal to dollar row designation variable. Here we have store designation table column data in this dollar data variable in array format. This way we have store employee all column data and dollar data variable. Now here we have write of statement and under condition we have write is set function with dollar post type head search variable. This condition will check if this variable value is set then it will execute if block of code otherwise it will call else block of code. If this variable value is set then it will execute if block of code and here it will receive Ajax request for get employee data in HTML table format. So here have write echo statement with dollar $HTML table variable. This block of code will display employee data in table format. But suppose dollar post type head search variable value is not set then it will execute else block of code and this page has received Ajax request from type head method and here we want to return employee data in JSON array format. So we have store all employee table column data in dollar data variable and from this variable we want to remove duplicate data. So here we have write dollar data variable is equal to array unique function with dollar data argument. This code will return unique data which we have store under dollar data variable. Now we want to send this dollar data variable data to type head method. So here we have write echo statement with JSON encode function with dollar data argument. This function will convert dollar data array to JSON string sent to type head Ajax request. And this data will display below employee search text box. So here our code is ready now we want to check out what in browser. Now friends here we can see when page has been loaded into browser, we can see one text box for search employee details and below it we can see employee data in table HTML format. So now we want to search data from this employee table so we want search by employee name. So here we have type Eric. So when we have type Eric in text box then below text box we can see autocomplete list box with Eric and in table also we can see employee data with name Eric. Then after we want to get all female data, so in text box we have write female. After completing writing female we have got all female employee data on page without refresh of web page. Same way we want to search employee whose designation are programmer. So in text box we have write programmer. After start writing programmer, below text box we can see auto complete list. 
so we have click on programmer and after click on programmer below table we have can see employee details whose designation are programmer. So this way we have make simple application in which we can search table data. Here we have use combination of type head plugin for auto complete with PHP Ajax. By both we have make stylish table data search with auto complete text box. If you have any query regarding this video tutorial part, please comment your query in comment box and if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.